In a previous video, I investigated do you need to heat your bed when you're using a paper method at each corner to level your bed. And I found that it didn't expand or change, heated or not heated, so I'd get the same results at each corner no matter what. But I got a lot of comments, what about the nozzle? I didn't heat the nozzle and that's going to throw all the readings off. So let's take a look at how much the nozzle expands on today's Film at Friday. Film at Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Since many printers use a brass nozzle and hot ends are pretty much the same across all Creality and their clones, I'm going to use this Ender 3 Pro to do all my measurements of nozzle expansion. Heating up the nozzle and brushing off any excess plastic is good, but you need to risk burning your fingers when you're doing the bed level. To make this easier to measure, I took out the filament and now I'm going to remove the PTFE tubing. I took off the fan shroud screws so I can put the fan shroud to the side at any point in time, and then I also clamped the cross beam so this thing doesn't move on me. I thought about using a dial indicator on a special mount, but many people believe this tip will heat up and expand and throw all the readings off. So I decided to go another route. I put the screw for the shroud back in so it was even with this screw holding the bottom wheel. That way I could rest a caliper against it level and also position it tight against the heat block and also the top of the heat sink. Then all I needed to do just slide this up to touch the nozzle and hopefully get consistent readings. The nozzle right now is room temperature or 24 degrees C, so I ran this three times. I got 51.06, 0 0 0.07, 51.06, .06, and then a third time, 51.06. So pretty consistent. So now I'll take this off. I'm going to lock it, and I'm actually going to set it to zero. So this is our neutral point, or our zero point, and then we'll see how much it expands from here. The next step was to go into the temperature menu and I'm going to set the nozzle temperature to 225 degrees C. Now this is a bit high for PLA, it's about right for PETG, so let's see how much this expands. So I'll go up to the main menu, info screen, and let this sit for a bit, and now you can see it's at 225 degrees C, so we're ready to test the nozzle again. So I held the shroud while this was going on, I loosened that screw on the caliper, and then I positioned it in the same spot and ran it up to the nozzle and let's see what we get remember this was zeroed out so now we're seeing 0 0.04 so it expanded 0 0.04 millimeters on the first one 0 0.04 on the second one so it's pretty consistent let's try one more time 0 0.04 so the nozzle has expanded 0 0.04 at 225 degrees c but let's go hotter i'm going to go up to 260 degrees c and see if this really expands a lot this is the max temperature of this machine, but you see it is heated up to 260 degrees, so let's take some measurements. I'm seeing 0 0.06, so a little bit more expansion. Let's do this again. 0 0.05, so only slightly bigger maybe. Let's take one more reading. So now the third reading, 0 0.05, so only slightly more expansion at 260 degrees C. Now to make sure that this is all accurate, I'm going to go back to room temperature here and measure the nozzle. This thing should read zero. First reading, zero. Because it's all cooled down now. It shouldn't be expanded. Zero. So it looks like this method that I chose to measure is accurate. Zero on the third. So I'm happy with the results. So at 225 degrees C, I'm seeing nozzle expansion of 0 0.04 millimeters, which moves it a little bit closer to the bed. It's not zero, but it's not huge either but it does expand. But you gotta remember we're also using a piece of paper to level at the corners that is 0.1 millimeters thick. Now I showed a video where I used a feeler gauge, but we set the Z offset in the menu to match the thickness of the feeler gauge, that way we get a true zero. But in this case, we're offsetting the nozzle by 0.1 millimeters. So if I did it with a cold nozzle, when that expands, it's actually gonna take away some of the error that we're introducing. So take 0 0.04 away from the 0.1 and your nozzle is now closer to a true zero position. So it's actually probably better to do this with a cold nozzle and not risk burning your finger. And you'll get a closer to true zero level by not heating the nozzle or not heating the bed. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.